أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم By now you should already know the heavy letters These heavy letters are known as letters of isti'ala letters of elevation The letter ra can be heavy and light at times but when the ra is heavy we give it the quality of heaviness by elevating the tongue if the ra has a kasra it will read light it is just like when you smile ri for example the ra has a kasra it reads as al qari'a with a smile on the ra if the ra has a sukun we look at the letter before it if it has a kasra in the same word it will also be pronounced light it reads as Fir'aun with a light ra. Here is an exception. If the ra has a sukun and the letter before it in the same word has a kasra, but the letter after the ra sakin is a heavy letter and doesn't have a kasra, it is pronounced heavy. For example, we see a ra with a sukun. We look at the previous letter. It has a kasra. So it appears the ra will be a light letter. But then we look at the letter after the ra. It's a heavy letter. If the heavy letter doesn't have a kasra, the ra will be read heavy, otherwise it will stay light. It reads mir sada. If the ra carries a sukun as a result of stopping and the letter before it also has a sukun, we have to look at the letter before that letter. If it has a kasra, the ra is pronounced light. The ra becomes sakin because of the rules of waqf mentioned in the previous videos. The letter before the ra is also sakin. The letter before that has a kasra. It reads as hijr with a light ra. If the ra carries a sukun as a result of stopping and before it there is a ya and the ya carries a sukun, it is pronounced light. The ra becomes sakin as a result of stopping. It has a ya sakin after the ra. It reads as al khabir with a light ra. And here it reads khair with a light ra. If the ra has a fatha or a dhamma on it, it is pronounced heavy. For example, the ra has a fatha. It is heavy. It reads wa ra'ayta nas. It's not Wara, it's wara, with a heavy sound. Another example, the ra has a dhamma. It reads rusul, with a heavy ra. If the ra has a sukun on it, we said look at the previous letter. If the letter before the ra has a fatha or a dhamma, it is pronounced heavy. This example has a sukun on the ra. The letter before it has a fatha. It will read as Maryam with a heavy ra. He it will read as Al Quran. If the ra carries a sukun as a result of stopping, and the letter before it also has a sukun, we have to look at the letter before that letter too. If it has a fatha or a dhamma, and the letter after was not a ya sakin, it is pronounced heavy. For example, the ra takes a sukun based on the rules of stopping. The letter before it has a sukun, and it's not a ya sakin. The letter before that has a fatha. It reads as al qadr, and here it reads as khusr, with a heavy ra. These are difficult to pronounce. If the ra has a sukun, and the letter before it is a hamza tul wasl, it is pronounced heavy no matter what vowel comes before it. In this example we see a ra sakin and before it there is a hamza tul wasl. It reads as limanir tada. Here it reads ir ji'i. This is what it looks like in summary. If the ra is associated with a kasra, it will read light apart from the exception. If the ra is associated with the dhamma or fatha, O Hamza to Lawson, it will be heavy. Sada